Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, today I want to introduce another uh company called a、uh, common identity in the binomial coefficient called the hockey stick identity. Well, probably the most famous identity in the in the the hockey stick. Probably the most uh famous identity in the binomial coefficient is Vandermore identity and then this hockey stick identity. At least I think probably this is commonly used. Uh, but it's fine that、uh, you don't remember it because I don't remember it. But uh, uh, but if you check online or somewhere, sometimes you have some idea that you can maybe you can use it. Okay. So I choose R like uh I run R to n will be just n plus one R plus one. So n greater equal to r, and n r basically are a positive integer. Okay, and in this video, I will give you the、uh, two proof. One is quick proof, uh, basically algebra. Another is that、uh, one can use the mathematical induction. Okay, now I will not. You can try a simple uh number check this is true, but I will not do this. Okay, so yeah, so I choose R, right? So start from R, right? R choose R is one, and up to n, and then you n plus one, R plus one. Okay, so the first proof, I would say, is very uh amazing. Basically, it's algebra proof. So you take uh, let's call it x R x R plus one, up to x n, and the one can compute is just this is just a geometric series, and it's finite, right? So it always converge. And the, the the difference is x. Difference is x. So it's one minus x. And the, the x r right. And the one minus one minus x. And then there is a n minus r、uh, plus one term. Okay. So it will be x r my minus x n plus one minus x. Okay. So let's consider x equals to y. Y one plus y. So I can get one plus y to r. One plus y to the r plus one, up to one plus y to the n. This equals to uh one plus y to the r minus one plus y to the plus one, and then、uh, divide by negative y. Okay, so now I take the coefficient of y to the r. Okay, I take the coefficient of y to the r. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, all these are not important. By the way, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, so take y to r, right? So if I so this the first term is like r choose r, right? R choose r. The second term is r plus one choose r. Then the next time is r plus two choose r up to like n plus n choose r. So these guys are basically summation of i choose r like i from one i from r to n. Okay. Now I take the r term, the y to r term, right? So I need to take the y to the r term of this, and then this term is at most y to the r, right? So y to the r, but there is a stupid negative y, so there is no way that this, so I can ignore this term, right? And then there is a minus i minus i, so I don't care. So I need this term. I need r plus one in in this term. I need y to the r plus one because if there is a y to the r plus one, then divide by y will be y to the r. So this guy will be n plus one r plus one. We should proof. Okay, and、uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, and、uh, okay, so I would yeah, I think this is the the basic the most beautiful proof. And、uh, there's another way that you can one can use the mathematical induction, and uh, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit trouble, but let's try to prove it. Try to use mathematical induction. Sometimes I feel very lazy to to write this proof, but、uh, it's fun that、uh, we like, it's fine. Okay. So you have two variable, right? So imagine. So I want to like fix. So I fix R and then try to prove n. Okay. So I'm so basically my induction on it. Okay. So if n is R, that、uh, is true. Right. So, uh, yeah, because R choose R is basically, uh, 
uh, R plus one, choose R plus one. This one. Okay, so uh, I would suppose that uh, let's say n equals to uh, k is correct. Okay. So basically, it means that r from one to k, uh, I choose r is basically k plus one, r plus one. And our goal is to show, so I consider n to k plus one. And this is simple, right? Because it's just simple to add another term. Right? Because you, so you just, just, you just ask whether k plus one, r plus one, plus uh, k plus one to the r equals two the next term, which is k plus two, r plus one. Okay, and uh, this one can check, this is basically the Pascal identity, or basically is elementary proof, proof by yourself. You can prove this is true, okay? So just, this is pa Pascal identity, you can try to prove it, should be very simple. Okay, so see you guys uh, next videos.